Hello everyone, Sons and Duck 2, welcome to another Redo Mod Overview, this time on Mechanical Tech. A mod that simply adds in a bunch of different machines, as well as a focus on mechanical power generation. So using spindles, as well as uh, wind sails and uh, water wheels. So yeah, uh, I don't think much has changed since. Uh, there is obviously things like REI support, uh, gravel and sand recipes to the grinder and such, and a few other fixes, but uh, other than that I don't remember if there was much else that's changed, at least change log wise, since I last covered it. But since I do remember certain bits and pieces, and I've done a bit of experimentation now, um, I thought I'd cover it again. So, we'll just go from, I guess, left to right. We've got the turbine, which is simply made with wooden gears, cobble, and a stick. Wooden gears are simply just sticks and planks, and you obviously need many of these to make the different machines and other different things, like the generators and spindle. So this is pretty much going to be your block that you need to connect your generators to. I uh, don't think you have to the manual crank, but we'll also test that now, just because I'm curious if it actually does anything of that kind. But uh, other than that, you pretty much connect the water wheel or the wind sail to that, but you do need space when it comes to the wind sail. And I was pretty sure that's the right direction, it's just I don't have the space. Correct? Yes, it's just I don't have the space. You need like a 1 by 3 Sorry, 1x9 sort of thing here, or 3x3 three three on this face, uh, this direction sort of thing. So there's that. Um, whilst the water wheel is just a 1x1, one one, and I'm pretty sure you can just have water above it, and then it'll rotate. But uh, yeah, obviously, recipes for those is wool, sticks, and a gear. Uh, you've got stairs, planks in the gear, and you've got the manual, which is just sticks. Now the manual one, obviously, you can just use simply similar to a... Uh, a Planogistics grindstone, you can pretty much just put it on top of any of the three machines and you can just rotate it and then you'll see the progress bar there. I've already got some of these just to test to see if the manual um, is working correctly and you can see it does and it'll take a while before um, you eventually have you know completed the uh, progress but if you do have a a lot of patience, or you have a block that can do fake player sort of stuff, so you interact with certain things like levers and this manual crank, then uh, you should be good to go. But uh, yeah, obviously I'm not going to stand here forever, but you can see that it does take a bit to do this, and it doesn't seem to reset the progress either, which is a good thing. So if you are patient enough or do have uh, enough going on that uh, will stop at whatever point, say your fake player sort of block, stops at some point, the progress is not going to be cancelled, so that's a good sign. Next we have the battery related blocks, so we've got cobble, we've got wooden gears, a bucket, a water wheel and spindle, and then we've got the battery core, and then we've got the cap. Now the base is the bottom, the core is the middle, and the cap is the top, so it's pretty much similar to this sort of design here, and I know that you can't flip this top uh, to the bottom, which would kind of fit more, I guess, with the design, but either way. So you've got pretty much these, which are just an extension. So this is the top of the block. This, you can add more extensions in between. And uh, then you've got the one that can obviously transport the energy. Okay, so that does form like that then. I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, this is the one where you make your connections on multiple sides. Uh, pretty much everyone except this one that does the forming, or just is part of it in general, I think. That's actually just part of the designs, isn't it? No, it's just part of the design, so that's all. That's fine. Um, but you could also see the top part here, which is only allowing for, obviously, these to just fit in with the design, and I guess to let you know, hey, these only fit the battery-related blocks. So, yeah. I don't think they light up, though, either, on the inside. I don't think that happens, but I haven't got any power in here, so I can't tell. But you will see power in here, eventually. Uh, however many MU you have, which I assume is mechanical units. Uh, speaking of the wind sail, which the wiki provides information for, we'll just go to generators. Oh wait, we're already on that, whoops. Um, 
So as you can see, 5MU is generated from the manual crank. Uh, this means four turns of the crank are equal to one second of water wheels. Uh, turbines we already know, you have to connect up to generators. Water wheel provides one MU per tick, um, but it has to have flowing water and be connected to a turbine block. And then you've got the wind sail, which is probably the best one to go with, but you do have to consider the height, so specifically the Y level. So I've already got these placed in the world, which I'll show, but uh, you get one MU per tick at Y level 80, two at 110, and you can get 1.5 at 95. My guess is that you can have them within this range of between 80 and 95 to still get access to 1, or 95 and 110 to still get access to 1.5, or 110 and up is still possibly 2 at a guess. Um, but yeah. Um, let's see, meaning the such and such first tick of the next, so that's what I was thinking that. Additionally, it'll generate 15% more power during rain and another during thunderstorms. So there is that as well. So this is what obviously 80 is, it's quite high up from the like 60-ish range, and you can see the 95-ish, obviously I've got it not on 95, but I've got it within range of, as you can see here, so they're the sort of heights you got. Um, I haven't gotten these working, I was just testing of course, but uh, yeah, just to keep in mind, you can um, obviously use it for generating power and then connecting it up to a machine immediately I'm pretty sure. Um, which I do have going on here. As you can see, I've got my wind sail, my turbine, and then this mill is doing things on its own. Even though it's at 70, it's still doing pretty good. So you can have them work like that, I just don't have those ones specifically. And I wasn't sure if with the way I angled it, it would work, but uh, my guess is that the energy only flows downwards, not upwards maybe, even though you can use a connector, which we'll get to. Um, but yeah, so this one seems to work. Uh, let's see, there's machines there, we'll just go to connectors and we'll finish up on machines and components. So you've got connectors, which are simply just gears and cobble, and these are a way of directing the energy. So obviously you've got your spindles, which only go, you know, one direction, so they don't obviously work with multiple directions unless you've got other blocks sort of sending it there. I mean, obviously I can redirect them, like so, but you're not actually sending the power if it's facing this uh, the opposite sort of way there, the spindle would just sort of um, try and reorient it as you saw there. But uh, yeah, if you want your power to be consistently sent through to machines from one direction to the other, then you need these. Um, so we've got the spindle recipe as well, which sends your power. Uh, there's no limit, I think, for the spindle, it's just you need to have it there as a similarity to a cable or water pipe or this that and the other to send it, so there's that. Um, what else is there? Um, obviously there's the different sides you can consider, so there's that and that, there's nothing on those, I don't think there's one on the bottom at all, there is not, so there's this one where it goes from this way to this way or the other way around, doesn't matter which you've got. You've got up, where you obviously you can send it upwards, which I think I tried to do with that one up there but didn't succeed very well. And then uh, there's obviously down, where you've got it sending in and then pointing it downwards, which I've got for this one here, as you can see, is the down one, and it's sending the power in that way. So this is pretty much a basic idea of how it works, and I don't know how far you can go with extending them, but uh, yeah, and there's also a cross one if you need to use that. Uh, I tried using a cross one here, and it didn't really do anything, so as you can see, nothing's really happening. But uh, if you needed to, for whatever reason, send them from any different direction, then you can. But I'd recommend mostly just using a bunch of different turbines and then um, angling them accordingly to then send the power to that. Which I remember doing with Sextiary Sector for 1710, um, which is pretty much the mod that I compare this to mostly, um, with its sort of design of you have the specific machines, you have a few different ones that are generating stuff in the world, and um, yeah, you sort of just do what you can with those to just angle its stuff. I don't know if it shows anything in images, but just for the sake of comparison, it's not really going to show anything. 
I don't have 1710 installed, but uh, yeah, you'd have your wind sails, you'd have your certain generators, of course, like that, and then you have um, certain connections you can make to the different machines from technically not limited to sides in that mod, whilst you are limited to sides here with the top for these ones and for the sawmill on the side. But uh, yeah, similar concept or certain others, I guess, like create and so on that do this sort of mechanical thing, sort of design. Um, so we'll get rid of these because we don't need those right now. We've got machines, which includes the mill, we've got the grinder, and we've got the sawmill. The mill, obviously, is for, as so we can see here, making flour, which requires 300 MU. You've also got starch, which you can make with beetroot, poisonous potatoes, and regular potatoes. And then we've got sugar being ground up into two instead of the one. With crafting and starch you can use to right click in water and get free slime balls. Uh, obviously it consumes it one at a time and you just have to have a water source. So, oh okay sorry it uses eight, I forgot, my bad. Um, I was just doing creative so yeah, but I remember reading in the wiki somewhere, where to go? Um, under... it was it? Machines. It says eight starch for a slime ball there. So that. Next we have the grinder, which many of these you can't use REI to then have the recipes appear, so you sort of have to find out what's what. Uh, for the grinder, I already have over here, so you can put iron inside it and get iron grit that you then obviously smelt into an ingot. Um, we'll just go back to here and you can see iron, gold, uh, cobble and gravel, as well as sand from gravel as well. And obviously you need 200 to 400-ish units depending on the recipe. Um, I'm assuming if you have other ores of course that are like iron, like astro mines, asteroid iron, then that also is supported. And uh, you've also got a sawmill, which uh, obviously you can use logs to get planks, or you can use planks to get slabs for any of the six year. Uh, you can also get sticks from slabs. And I don't know about other wooded uh, wood options, I don't think I have any others, I do not, but my guess is maybe those will work. Uh, we'll check third party integration as well, which you can I assume enable recipes in here. Um, and there's also power integration as well, if you want to have a transformer type approach as well, but that's mostly for developers. Um, so yeah, I don't think you can change anything in configs sort of way with that, my guess is no. Uh, and there's none here, that's fine. And I'll just check here as well. Make sure. Yeah, nothing there. Okay. And, uh, finally, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, that's pretty much the mod. There's obviously mechanical power. You can use three different types of machines for different purposes. Um, and that's it. Obviously, when it comes to the wind sail, it takes a bit. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I guess the water wheel is the only other thing I missed. Which, how much time do we have? Eh, a little bit. Um, so we go spindle. And we can set time to day, because that's irritating. And we'll get water. And one second while I set this up. Okay, so finally got it working. Uh, I happen to get the water working on this side, not on the other, and I'll just demonstrate. So I didn't have much luck on that side, but I did on this one, so apparently, unless it's the leftover water, which we'll test, just quickly, nope, just happens to be this way, so it seems to rotate the opposite to obviously the water. So you want to do something like that, and obviously self-contain it a bit more, I'd say like this, so that it's just flowing accordingly, and I don't think the other, I don't think that matters, that lower level there. Um, so that's rotating. Whether or not I'm actually getting much power, I don't think so. But obviously it does very little, and infinitely, so... Yeah. That's it. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.